Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JP and I'm back at it with another basketball IQ quiz for y'all. So here's how it's going to go down. I'll start off by giving you a hint of what the clip will be about. And after I present the clip to you, I'll then give you a few seconds to take a crack at it and see if the clip that I've shown you was correct or incorrect. So here's an example. Let's say I showed you a clip of a player running out of bounds with the ball. You'll then have a few seconds, I'll show the clip, to guess and see if that player did right or did he do wrong. And obviously the answer to that will be wrong because you're not supposed to dribble out of bounds. That's, that's idiotic. So without further ado, let's hop straight into it. Please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. The answer for this first clip will be incorrect. Players, you must understand that the minute you pass the ball out to the hardwood, it's game time. You cannot pass that ball back out of bounds. If done so, you'll just score yourself and your team a turnover. The answer for this is a for sure incorrect. If you didn't peep the shot clock in the score, notice how the following team had possession of the ball and the shot clock had already ran out. So all they had to do was pretty much run out the time. Pretty simple, right? If you are ever in that position, all you have to do is just sit there. There is no need to try and score another bucket if your team is up and you have the lead. Due to this Dumbo shooting the rock, he now gives the other team a chance to potentially make a comeback, or worse, a game winner. For some of you, you may think this is a travel, but think again my guy. The following player, yes he did indeed take three steps, but he did it the legal way. The first step is called the gather step, which is the step that the player takes as he or she starts to pick up the ball. After picking up that ball, you now have up to two steps to make a play. Any more than that will result in a travel.
The answer for this clip is incorrect. After receiving the ball from a teammate and you score, you should always thank your teammate. There's different ways on thanking your teammates from just saying a simple thank you or a high five, but if you want to talk about culture, it is a must that you raise your hand up and point at your teammate to thank him for that pass. Now this is a tricky one. Now especially for the old heads, man, I could just hear him screaming at me right now, man. It is what it is, man. The game is changing, though. But yes, this is good. This is okay. Nowadays, we're starting to see shooters shoot from way beyond the NBA line. Guys from Steph Curry, Trey Young, Damian Lillard, and all those freaking great shooters. Are those shots tough? Heck yeah. But it's a good shot for them because they work on it. Every player has different tendencies, man. Every player has their own spot on the floor where they can make shots at a high level. It's okay for them to shoot those shots because they work on it. As long as you work on those shots and make them, it will always be a great shot for you. For you. Now let's say if you know for a fact that you can't even shoot a free throw and I see you pulling up from the logo, then for sure, my guy, we gotta talk because that's not your shot. What did y'all think about the mini quiz? It's been a while since I've done the previous two. Speaking of, please feel free to peep them out right now on your screen. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more lit content. It's your boy JP. Till next time.